Hi, James here from the XIR team. And in today's video, I want to show you a really cool feature that we have, the similarity search feature or the search by example photo feature. Basically, what this does is lets you take an initial reference image and then from there search for other similar images, that is images that are similar in terms of their content or images that are similar in terms of their color. So let me show you how this works. First, you want to make sure you're in the Lightroom library module. Um, and then you just come up here to library, plug in extras, and then search by example photo. Now I had previously selected uh, this image of a bee on a flower. And, and so that's what comes up here in this uh, uh, similar uh, photos dialog box. Um, but you can select a different image by going back to the Lightroom grid um, or just by selecting a different image along the film strip at the bottom. So you have a few different settings that you can configure here to make sure that your search works exactly as you want it to. You can change the search criterion. So if you want to search for uh, images that are similar in terms of their content, so here we have a bee on a flower. Do I want to search for other images of insects on flowers? Or do I want to search for images that are similar in terms of their color? So here this is a primarily yellow, uh, black, and tan image. Do I want to find images that are similar in that sense? I can also choose the similarity limit to say how similar I want the, the images that XIR returns to be to my initial reference image. If I put this towards loose, the images will be vaguely similar. The, the net it casts is a lot wider versus if I move it towards restrictive here. And then I can say, do I want to search in the whole catalog or do I just want to search in the film strip? Here, for my example, I'm going to search in the entire Lightroom catalog and I'll say I want 100 results at maximum of images that are similar in content to this one. I'll go ahead and click start. So if we look here, you can see the XIR has returned dozens of images that essentially all contain similar content to my original. We have various images of, of bees and insects on flowers. Um, the initial images the XIR returns, the, the top results are the most similar. And then as we go down, they become less similar. The flowers start to look different the insects start to look different. But in, in a broad sense, the similarity search has done a fantastic job of returning images that are similar to my original photo. Now, if I come up here again to library, plug in extras, and then search by example photo, I'll try just so, so you can see how it works, the color option here. And then I'll just leave everything else the same, search the whole catalog. And as you can see, XIR has disregarded the content entirely. The insects on a flower, that's not important anymore. Instead, it's about the colors, this tan, this yellow. And all of the images that have resulted uh, really are quite similar in terms of the colors to my original photo. Now, before I finish up, I want to show you one more thing here. Under Plugin Extras, you have a the search by example photo option, but you also have a couple of other options. You can search by example photo with previous and then search by external example photo. These are about identifying your reference photo, the photo that you want XIR to use and then search for similar photos based on. The search by example photo with previous means that XIR is going to use the previous photo that you had used as a reference photo to search. So you can sort of search again based on that last photo and then search by external example photo lets you literally select an image, a reference image using a URL or by browsing for a local file. So that can be useful if you don't have an image in your catalog that you want to use, but you know that it exists somewhere online. 